Hey everyone, welcome to a new video of my multiplayer server. Now this is the second video of round 30. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video yet, uh, I recommend you to watch that one first. Um, so, so basically the idea of round 30 is, uh, well, we started with 16 players, everybody had a 10 by 10 plot. And after that round half of the players got eliminated. And the winners got the plot of their neighbors. So we're in that stage now. So uh, every player that's still in the round now has a plot that's the size of two original plots plus a path in between. And now all those players are again matched up against their neighbors. So we have this plot here in the corner, it's matched up against this neighbor over here. Uh, same for these two players. Uh, these two players and these two players. So I will just uh, go over each uh, matchup and I will uh, tell you who won and uh, I will share my personal opinion on each uh, on each plot. Anyway, let's get started with the first matchup. All right, here we have the first matchup. Um, actually, Spons won in the last uh, round, but he uh, dropped out quite early in the round and he gave his uh, plot to the to the person who got eliminated last round so Ruffle, Ruffle actually built this uh, building here before and uh, Spons made a castle here in the, this plot in the first round but he actually removed it and wanted to build in Ruffle style but then he dropped out so then <laughs> Ruffle continued building on this area and there he made this uh, this uh, hardline twister coaster, but it's actually merged with uh, bobsleigh coaster track. It's actually one of my favorite tricks to uh, to use in this game, because uh, the hardline twister cars work really well uh, when merged with the bobsleigh track. I think it's a really cool uh, trick to use. Uh, I think this uh, he Ruffle continued his style in this uh, this little area of land that he gained quite well. I like the, how the water same color as the, as the glass, uh, same sort of style, also a bit of uh, futuristic technological style. I, uh, I really like it, it's quite cool. Now, one thing he could have done better is that he didn't actually name his rides. Um, that's really something I would, uh, I would recommend him to do. It just uh, yeah, makes your, your plot look a little bit more uh, finished earned that uh, quite a nice job and his neighbor Sheeple well <laughs> already quite early in the round he uh, said he ha didn't really have ideas he did actually uh, make a coaster here I told him he could make a nice uh, Schwarzkopf coaster but yeah that's all he uh, really did it's a landscape but he didn't actually build anything I think that's really a waste uh, I mean, he could have easily made a nice station for the, for the coaster, put some paths in between, some decorations, and then he would already have uh, a nice plot. And then, uh, well, even if he wouldn't win, he would at least go down like a champ. Honestly, though, I think he uh, would have had a good chance at winning if he uh, just put down something nice. But, yeah, it's, it is how it is. Anyway, um... It's quite obvious that Ruffle took all of the votes in the voting poll. I didn't even put an option to choose Sheeple as the winner. So yeah, Ruffle will get uh, Sheeple's plot in the in the next round. So let's continue on to the next matchup. All right, here we have the next matchup. We have uh, well in the first round, Suspect made a really nice and big tree, and in this round. Uh, an, an extra tree was added to the plot and um, that that just looks awesome this was the this was the plot in this round that got the highest uh, score again <laughs> so yeah that's uh, that's really impressive and Julia Mild made this uh, incredible uh, nice looking well sort of castle house uh, there's lots of uh, nice buildings here with a launched uh, mine train coaster it actually goes uh, underground for a, quite a long stretch, if I see that correctly. Okay, the underground bit is not that long. 
So it's uh, really, uh, really a simple uh, layout. But uh, it does look nice. I really like the colors on this uh, on this plot. Some uh, tower rides were added here. Oh, from this angle, it looks even nicer. But yeah, I think uh, what this plot is really lacking is something really eye-catching. I mean, it does look nice and all, but it's not... Okay, it looks like my game crashed, so let's try this again. I forgot what I was telling. Ah oh, yes, I was at Julia Mouth's plot. So yeah, I was telling uh, that the plot was nice and all, but it was missing an, uh, a real eye-catcher. Um, it probably would have been better if there was uh, like a coaster uh, sticking out above it, or maybe an inversion or two. Uh, just something to uh, to really grab the attention, um, and that's something this these trees uh, really do well. I mean, this trunk is awesome. There's some nice waterfalls. The clouds around it, made with mids, it just looks uh, incredibly uh, good. The one thing that really annoys me about this plot is all the glitching that's going on. There's something that uh, suspect should be really careful with in the in the next rounds. Because, uh, of course, the only the best players remain and this glitching could uh, just cost you the win. Alright, here we have the next matchup. This is the plot made by Timidator and this is the one made by uh, Mamarias. Uh, Timidator uh, usually doesn't score very well, but in this uh, matchup he actually took 25% of the votes. So it's nice to see him get better and better at this game. Now, Mamarias uh, actually uh, continued his plot quite nicely. I really like this uh, vertical drop coaster that he actually made using uh, the flying coaster cars. That's uh, quite a neat trick. It actually reverses here on top and then drops down vertically. It's actually a really cool uh, trick. So, a really nice uh, custom supports. Some uh, really cool buildings here. Nice uh, plants. Uh, of course, with this uh, palette, the trees have a nice and uh, yellow color, and I think he used that uh, really well. No, there's actually some other uh, rides here. I can see a uh, spiral slide here. That's quite nice. Just nice uh, scenery uh, all around. And of course, this uh, <laughs> DKMP, uh, it's the name of my Discord server with a heart. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's a nice touch. And a Dutch flag. He is not actually Dutch, but uh, but I am, if you didn't know. And here we have uh, Timidator's plot. Well, actually, uh, <laughs> this boat is uh, still here. It was already there in the first round. It's actually quite glitchy. Um, we don't really know how it got here. I think he removed the track with Tile Inspector and then he just bugged out. And there's no way to, uh, to actually remove it. Oh, I actually removed it. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh no, it's still here. And now it's just uh, floating above it. Uh, so yeah, this is just a uh, crazy, uh, crazy glitch. We'll need to uh, do some code hacking to uh, remove that boat. So yeah, um, when you're messing around with Tile Inspector, uh, don't delete all track of a ride or uh, silly stuff like this could happen. There's no way to get rid of that boat. Oh yeah, anyway, on this, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. On this plot we have uh, we have this coaster here, which uh, travels up in a spiral lift hill on this building, then goes through some inversions, uh, and then it returns back to the station. There's also a go-kart track here, and some other buildings. It's, uh, I think this, yeah, flying saucer track here. And I really like this these decorations he put on top of this uh, building. Other than that, some nice trees. It's a lot more uh, simple than uh, what Mamarias made, but it's still uh, quite decent to look at. So yeah, really nice job from Timidator. It's nice to see him get uh, better at this game. Alright, and here we have the final matchup. Um, this big purple castle was made by Hank the Super Nerd. And this uh, epic plot was made by Ayrton. They're both really nice, uh, really nice plots. Uh, from Ayrton, I love this uh, crazy coaster that's going around. It's actually a triple launch coaster. 
So, uh, I actually made a tutorial once on how to make a triple launch coaster. It, uh, it works quite well. So first get launched up uh, partly up the, this, uh, this first uh, top hat. Then it uh, goes backwards here. And then finally it gets launched again with enough speed to make it over. Oh, it's actually a, a f uh, one that launches five times. So it actually has to pick up speed uh, twice to actually make it through that first uh, inversion. That's quite cool. I love this wacky uh, color scheme of this uh, of this plot. There's lots of nice uh, track texture as well. And what I like most is this uh, trick he did with the signs. So you can actually use uh, signs as uh, decorations. So he just put some uh, weird text on it with just dashes and the dashes show up on the sign. And you can use it as uh, scenery pieces quite well. So yeah, these are these wall pieces are all uh, in the middle are, are all signs. And you can uh, yeah, do some fun tricks with it. Uh, Hank actually also used uh, that trick here, but also with other characters. So yeah, it's a trick not many people uh, use, but uh, it's uh, every time I saw people use it, uh, they use it to great effect. So yeah, also some really nice uh, custom supports here using the Inverted Impulse Coaster, also a 3D cinema here in a really nice location. So yeah, I actually voted uh, for Ayrton to be the winner, but uh, Hank the Super Nerd uh, took, the, took the win of this uh, matchup with 55% of the votes. He got one vote more than Ayrton, so Hank the Super Nerd continues on to the next round. This plot is also uh, really, really nice. I really like how we uh, how we expanded his uh, castle. This was the plot he originally built, and he just went uh, built upwards here. Put some really cool looking uh, waterfalls. Uh, I really like the color of the water in this uh, palette. It's a really nice, uh, weird kind of green, blue, cyan, <laughs> and also I love this. Uh, well, wooden wild mine, uh, wild mouse ride. They actually merged it with some other uh, curves to do some track elements it uh, normally would not be able to do. And there's also a road to drop popping out uh, here from the middle. Some really nice uh, layering on this building. Uh, I love how we did the towers here with the arches and the columns behind them. And I even put uh, some, uh, used some shops here to make the roofs of these towers. That's a really nice trick. Um, I don't know what kind of uh, shops these are. Oh, he did some uh, he did some hacking here, I think. But yeah, this is a really nice uh, trick to make nice uh, to make nice looking towers. That's really cool. Of course, uh, yeah, it's a well deserved uh, win. Although, well, they were both uh, really nice, and uh, <laughs> it was really close. Alright, we now know uh, which four players continue on to the next round. Uh, each of those four players uh, will receive a corner of the map. And then uh, yeah, uh, they will battle it out against each other. So Ruffle will be against uh, Suspecat. And Hank the Supernet will be up against Mamarias. I'm really excited to see uh, how they will do in the next round. Alright everyone, that was it for the second round of multiplayer round 30. Um, round 3 uh, will start today and the video should be up in about a week or so, because that's how long the round will last. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the next one. See you later!